G'day, Teeth here from PickingLessons.com. The three C captains, this is a great jig in the key of G. There's lots of rhythm variation, uh, lots of variation for the picking hand. Uh, each of the parts is quite long. Part A is 16 measures, part B is 20 measures before they both have repeats. So it's quite a long tune, uh, but some really good techniques in here for us to learn. In a moment, we're gonna take a look at the first eight measures of part A just to get us going. But if you head to PickingLessons.com, you'll grab yourself a copy of the chart that we'll be working through uh, in the member section there. You'll also find uh, the complete part B and part A lessons and some play along and backing tracks as well. So pigandlessons.com. Let's have a slow playthrough first. Just these first eight measures of this A part to get us going. We'll break down some of the picking techniques. Uh, we'll have a look at some of the rhythm. There's a lot of rhythm variation that goes with those picking techniques as well. So we'll check that out. One, two, one and a two and a. Okay, so there we have the first eight measures. Uh, we are in six eight time being a jig and we are in the key of G. Uh, six eight time has two beats to, the, to each measure. So one, two, one, two. We break that down into six eights. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, that's our kind of basic structure. Sometimes we see that rhythm. Uh, if we're looking at measure five, for example, when we get there, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, eighth notes. But we have a, a number of different rhythm variations we're gonna have a look at. So firstly, our pickup note there is on count six if we want to count it that way. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And that's an upstroke so that we can come down on the next beat. What we're gonna try and do with this is really maintain our uh, down pick stroke every time we hit the pulse. That's really important. So it doesn't matter what's happening before that, down stroke on the pulse. And you'll see there's a few variations that get quite tricky to do that. So that pickup note on count six, one, two, three, four, five, six is an upstroke, downstroke now for this uh, first set of rhythm we have in measure one. So we have this basically this little G arpeggio. So the left hand notes are pretty straightforward, but let's have a look at what's happening in the right hand there. So the rhythm down, up, down, down, up, down. Now our rhythm changes in each half of the measure. One, two, and three, four, five, six. Down, up, down, down, up, down. Remembering we're gonna emphasize the pulse. So down, up, down, down, up, down. We have that downstroke there at the end of uh, the first half of the measure and the beginning of the second half. One, two, and three, four, five, six. That's a good exercise to get us going if you're not familiar with these sort of picking patterns. Uh, we have another variation straight up in measure two, uh, quarter, eighth, quarter, eighth. One, two, three, four, five, six. Picking hand is nice and straightforward. They're just down, up, down, up. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can get a loop at this point in time. We can put measure one and two together. That's a nice one to practice there and you'll get uh, a sense of that pulse in your playing if you can feel that uh, our picking direction is really important so stop for a moment and think about how you're going about that positioning for your left hand is pretty straightforward just in the key of g uh, just a standard g major position there uh, but it's all about the rhythm and the picking directions in this one so really do keep an eye on that we'll point out a few more as we go along measure three is just like measure one so remembering that we have down up down down up down, picking hand, measure four. So down, up, down, up, down. One, two, three, four, five, and six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Uh, you can see there, okay, we've got the quarter note and the eighth, but then we've got that dotted eighth note again to the 16th, to the eighth, like we saw in measure one. That rhythm there. Uh, picking that as a down, up, down. Uh, moving on to measure five, this is our most straightforward in terms of rhythm structure that we're going to see. Uh, we have six eighth notes there. 
to fill the complete measure, divide into two groups, the two pulses. So we have the one, two, three, four, five, six. No variation sort of within the rhythm, just nice and straight essentially with those eighth notes. Um, and it's a really good example of the picking pattern that we want to apply. So down, up, down, down, up, down. Down, up, down, down, up, down, getting that pulse in there. So do give it a try. I mean, we could alternate that, that'd be fine. We could just straight alternate and, and, and get the job done. But approaching it in this way really does help emphasize that pulse. Um, up to that point there, measure five. It, it's, it's something that you do get used to and it does make sense once you get on top of it. Uh, playing a jig in, in, in without that kind of method, it can get, you can kind of blur the lines a little bit with the structure of the rhythm or, or where the pulse is. So do be mindful of that. As we move on through though, measure six, uh, we've got this picking passage here. This is a bit of a tricky one. Um, What we have here is a couple of sixteenths to get us going into two eighths. So one and two, three. So if we were to pick this one, we're going down, up, down, up. So we're changing our structure to accommodate the sixteenths. And then picking up on the last eighth note of that first grouping. So then we can pick down pretty straightforward there on the next beat. Down, up, down, up down. So our right hand changes quite a bit depending on the rhythm structure and that's what makes this tune more difficult to play. And jigs in general can be more difficult and more challenging for that reason. Uh, coming in at the end of the measure though, we have an upstroke and we're gonna have a, a 16th triplet hammer on pull off. So we're gonna pick it as an up, because that will set us up for our next downstroke pretty easily. Uh, and then hammer on pull off quite quickly between the second, third and second frets, first and second fingers. So in context with some counting there, one and two, three, four, five, six, happens on count six. Just before we go to that next beat, I'll also add the first note of measure seven in there as well. So really get that upstroke, quick hammer and pull off there, those 16th triplets into uh, beat one of the next measure. Uh, and then moving on into this rhythm structure we have again from earlier. Down, up, down, up, and a nice um, grouping of eighths in measure eight. Down, up, down, down, up, down watching that pulse again. Uh, so some tricky moments in there, measure six, uh, measure one to begin with, uh, even measure four, where we've got some variation of rhythm. Um, so do be careful, keep a close eye on the picking direction and keep a close ear on the rhythm. Two things to really to work on for this tune. Uh, and both of those things, uh, the picking and the rhythm, do make this tune a little more advanced than you might expect. Okay, there's our first eight measures. That's got, got us going. We do have a, a kind of a repeat in the second half of part A, but it just changes in the last four measures. So uh, uh, it's not an identical repeat exactly. So uh, do jump over to pickinglessons.com and we'll break down the rest of part A here to get us going. And then we'll break down the complete part B as well. And you've got your backing and play along tracks there in the members section, pickinglessons.com. I'll see you there.